On example 10, our directions say we want to solve the right triangle. I want to round the side lengths to the nearest hundredth and the angle measures to the nearest degree. When it says solve, what that means is we're going to find out everything that's missing. So in other words, I know my two legs are 7 and 4. I want to find the hypotenuse and I want to find the angles, A and B, because I don't know those. So first off, I look at, I've got two legs. I think the easiest way to solve for AB is to find, use Pythagorean theorem, because you've got two sides. So in other words, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So C squared equals 7 squared plus 4 squared. So C squared is 49 plus 16. So C squared then is 65. Yeah, because 49 plus 6 would be 55 plus another 10 is 65. In other words, the exact answer is C is the square root of 65. But I want to round that to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to use my calculator. I'm going to take the square root of 65. So in other words, we know that's 8.06 approximately. So my hypotenuse is about 8.06. Now to find the angle measures, I'm going to use my trig ratios. And the nice thing is notice I have all three sides. I can use any of my ratios. I think I'm going to use the two sides I'm given. I'm not going to use 8.06. So I'm going to look at 4 and 7. In relation to angle A, 4 is opposite, 7 is adjacent. So in other words, I'm going to use tangent because opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to say the tangent of angle A equals 4 over 7. So that means the measure of angle A is the inverse tangent of 4 over 7. So we'll use a calculator then. So to find that angle, I'm going to hit my, clear this out, I'm going to hit my function, I'm going to do the inverse tangent of 4 divided by 7. And that turns out to be 30 degrees. So the measure of angle A is around 30 degrees. Now I know angle A and angle B are complementary. I don't have to use my trig at all then because I know A and B have to add to 90. So the measure of angle B is 60 degrees. So they have various amounts of work on questions like this.